know when I'm going to stop the edit you see and stuff like that. So anyway, it's Thursday night training. It's the Thursday before Christmas. But more importantly, we've got a massive trip up to Leiston on, on Saturday Macca. They've, uh, they've been kind with us with that uh, fixture list, haven't they? But in all fairness, there's, <laughs> there, is there a nice time to go there? <clears throat> no, but we've, uh, we've all got to go there uh, at some stage and our aim is to get the three points, wherever it may be. So, Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been looking at the weather forecast all week and it's, it's going to rain the Leiston tomorrow, but it's not going to rain on Saturday. So... Uh, you know, I think uh, I think we got a game of football on. So well, we unfor- just... unfortunately, it'd be on a Tuesday night then. So yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, Saturday all day. Absolutely, but we're we're on a good roll again. It was a we we it was a it was a strange old game against uh, Old Church, but we came out on top. We got the three two victory. We got the points, and we're rolling on. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Two sloppy goals, um, but reacted quite well. I thought after the first one. Um, they came with a different game plan from what I can remember of Albert Church. They seemed to let us have the ball a bit more and give us a lot more time than I, uh, I thought they would. But at the end of the day, I'm probably a bit more old school, but the only thing that matters is uh, that final score and how many points we've got compared to them. So at the moment, we seem to be able to be on the winning end of uh, those sort of games, which touch wood, we can keep that going. Absolutely. Now we've got a we've got a defeat to avenge against Leiston as well. I mean, they beat us by four goals to three, and it was a, a silly five minutes. And I think we conceded three goals. Yeah, crazy game. It was literally like a flip of your coin. Nothing in it, and then boom, um, they turned it on. We were very probably lax a daisy for those first five minutes, and before we knew it, we were three goals down. Um, did well to to get it back to where we did, but. Yeah, we um, will definitely need to be on our game for the, the full 90 to 100 minutes, depending on what goes on. But as you can see, those five-minute spells can cost you games. Absolutely, yeah. And no, it's non-league. It's it's a busy period for us. We've got a horrible trip on, on Saturday, which we've got to you know, put to the back of our minds, get onto that pitch, 90 minutes, win, get three points. And then we've got to look forward to uh, Levington coming into town on uh, on, on Tuesday, that's going to be a heck of a game. 100%, uh, they're up there with us. Um, it's quite tight every time I have a quick look at that league table. It's, uh, there's a lot of uh, movement going on. Um, but yeah, Christmas time, round football, is, uh, it's a great time. The, the families come, uh, seems to get a bit more of a, a crowd going around Christmas. So yeah, good atmosphere around here and hopefully we can turn a good performance into three points. I mean, I think we're going to get well over a thousand people in here on, on Tuesday afternoon. So. Uh, it's up to us to uh, turn it on so we get a few more of them coming back the following Saturday. Definitely, definitely. And at their place this year, I thought we were unlucky uh, to come away with a draw. They might have peppered us when we were down to 10 men, but I never felt like they uh, they were going to cut us open. And Unfortunately, they got their scrambled uh, equaliser. But again, they're a good team. Um, we know what they're about. They're, they haven't been in that league above for as many years as they have for, for no reason. So... We have to turn it on, um, and we know from what we've seen so far, if we do, we can turn anybody over. Absolutely. So, non-league player, what do you sort of like do over Christmas? Do you look after yourself? Do you let it go a little bit? And we'll, uh... Depends in which way you mean. <coughs> I'm not a drinker, so the drink doesn't bother me. Food, since uh, since I've got kids, it's calmed down a little bit, but we used to have to have, uh, me and my other half, have uh, a few Christmas dinners to keep everybody happy. So that was a bit of a struggle getting up on Boxing Day, but um, no, with the kids, it's long days, but it's what it's all about. And Christmas Day is the day with them. And then, unfortunately, I, I've done it for too many years. Boxing Day is football, end of. Yeah. Same with New Year's, whatever happens, New Year's, celebrating, all that stuff. But football, that, that's what I've got programmed into, so makes no difference to me. And it's a strange year this year, isn't it? I mean, we, we play on a Tuesday, but then we don't play again to the next Tuesday. Yeah, normally they've put a little one in between, don't they? Which, to be fair, it, it's a bit naughty of them, but again, it doesn't give you many days in between your, uh, your games to recover. But it, it, it's one of them. It, it, nice, nice rest, hopefully, this year for that. But as long as we're raring to go, it, it doesn't matter who we uh, end up having to play. And, and looking on social media and stuff, that was one of a, a video that uh, Mr. Daly posted, wasn't it? With the old sing song afterwards. Yeah, well, it's one of those. The change room's good. Um, you keep turning results over and that, that's what it kind of, the atmosphere it brings. Um, but again, that's due to the, the lads in there, the management, the staff, and 
everybody around the place at the moment it's buzzing um, but again all of that comes with winning so as long as we can keep turning those results over everybody seems to be uh, enjoying themselves absolutely well it's our last interview before Christmas I'd like to wish everybody a happy Christmas and I'm sure you'll do the same yep Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, hopefully see you down here Boxing Day lovely cheers Maka.